What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. I figured I want to share with you guys a cool little ship. They are flag cruisers. And uh, this is, I think, was meant to be like a uh, fleet commander or an FC ship. But uh, let's go and take a look at this thing. It's a very special ship, to say the least. But it is a cruiser class. And as you can see, it has 92% resistance for shield across the board. And 92% resistance is for armor across the board and 42% for uh, hull there. The th good thing to note here is without the uh, micro jump drive on, it has a 30M signature radius. And it can target out to like 300 kilometers. Now, this ship, the way it works is essentially its roll bonuses, it can get and use a micro jump drive. It has... Um, reduction in power grid and CPU requirements for afterburners, uh, micro warp drives, and micro jump drives. It has 99% reduction in power grid and CPU requirements for probe launcher and target uh, painters. It has a 300% bonus to target painter op range, 99% to target painter effectiveness, 100% resistance to ECM effects, and 70% resistance to sensor dampeners, target painters energy neutralizers and energy uh, Nosferatu effects I'm gonna go into a little more detail here but the thing to note about this ship is it can only fit certain modules so as you can see it can't fit any uh, low modules because it has no low slots and for the mid slots it can only fit target painters and it can only fit uh, micro warp drives afterburners and if you have the resources it can fit uh, a medium micro jump drive for the larges for the uh, high slots it can only fit a scanning module so your probe or expanded uh, launchers and also it can fit a uh, automatic targeting system and stuff the purpose of this is to be really tanky and be able to just kind of like be on grid and uh, monitor the situations it also receives really good reps as well we'll go in here to the uh, info tab we'll kind of go through this a little bit more you're probably wondering, well, how do you use a uh, a core probe launcher if you have no inventory? Well, this ship actually has a ammo hold of 25 cubic meters and a booster hold for 25 cubic meters. And then, as you can see here, there's the hull resistances, their armor resistances here. It has an EHP of 323,000 for this cruiser ship. And then here you can see all of the uh, all ECM resistances and stuff like that. And it also, uh, the targeting range for 300, and it can have a maximum of like 12 lock targets. I find this, um, this ship, uh, pretty interesting. And what I use it for is I essentially use it to basically explore and to grab footage in a more, uh, hostile environments. Because unless there's a specific group that is, uh, kind of geared and, uh, and they want to like really kind of beat on this thing. It can uh, it can kind of get so you kind of skirt past quite a bit of stuff that you might encounter. The other interesting thing, the other caveat, and the un thing that I've tried with this ship is actually uh, trig standings. So the idea is that you actually take this ship into uh, Poshman, and since you have a really really long target painter and targeting range, you essentially go to areas where there's like uh, rogue drones. You target up those rogue drones. And then you paint them, and then you want the, uh, you know, say other people are fighting these rogue drones, you kind of go in, you uh, paint a few targets, and then you can get, like, the assist, essentially. And then if the rogue drones do kind of catch up to you, you're extremely tanky, so you can kind of uh, have that uh, to go against you. But I figured I'd make this really quick video for anybody who hasn't really explored the flag uh, cruisers, but and also let's go over the requirements, because... That's also pretty stout here. Now, essentially, for to maximize the bonuses for all this, you you need um, you need uh, Cruiser Five for all of the e Empires to get the most out of this, and then you also want Cruiser uh, Flagship or Flag Cruiser Five as well. But beyond that, what you actually need is you need like Wing Command Five. So I'm gonna open up my uh, my skills here. We'll go to fleet, go to my skills. So you need wing command five, and then also um, I think like fleet command one, and then you actually need the uh, flagship cruiser one. I think that skill costs like 
80 something million. Now, Wing Command uh, is like a 30, Wing Command 5 is like a 32 or 30 something day uh, train. So, the, it, they have definitely put this behind a lot of uh, fleet uh, skills, which is the purpose. So, like right here, you can see uh, Fleet Command 5, Spaceship Command 5, and things like that. But anyway, I figured I'd make this really quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I put the fit for this in the description if you guys want to toy around with it. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.